Hi. This is so funny. I just filmed an entire live video and it was set to private. So that's why no one was logging on. That was one of the most awkward 10 minutes of my life. Anyway, this video is set to public, so that's good. Hi guys, I'm so excited to see you today. <laughs> um, so in this video, as you can tell by the title, like we're gonna talk about reversing wrinkles and actually at home. I'll get right to the point. How was your Friday night? Um, mine is really great and I think about you a lot. And so this is a video that I think um, is pretty important just because I know that a lot of you prefer natural methods, natural remedies. And so here we go. Number one, fast daily as much as possible. I like to use the interval of 18 hours fasting, six hours of an eating window. Now today, all I've had is one cold brew coffee and some like lots of water and stuff, but that's about it. So there are two days per week where I actually do liquid fast, and that works a lot for me. So find out what works well for you and your particular lifestyle, okay? Fasting is super valuable because it increases the HGH in your body, human growth hormone, and that's fantastic for repairing those wrinkles and for smoothing them out and creating that beautiful plumpy glow. Now, when I was 18, I had three horizontal lines on my forehead, okay? That was over 10 years ago, and I have zero lines on my forehead. So I do know what I'm talking about. I do practice what I preach. And I encourage all of you to listen to people who have the results that you want. It's super important to do that, whether it's regarding a business or starting an online, you know, like a YouTube channel or achieving the health goals that you have in your heart, you know, whatever it is, follow people that have the results that you want. And that's what I've been doing for years. It served me very, very well. Okay. So number two, sleep as much as possible. You want to sleep as much as possible. Preferably try to wake up without an alarm clock. This can be really valuable because an alarm clock can often stimulate adrenaline from the uh, adrenals, which are in your lower back. And that can cause a lot of stress as soon as you wake up. And then there's stress, and then you'll have the 11 lines, and then like that's not a beautiful way to start the day. So... If you need to wake up really early, try to simply go to bed earlier. And that's a way to sort of avoid the alarm clock. Um, I haven't used an alarm clock in years only because I am very much um, obsessed with, <laughs> I'm in love with making sure that I feel good as much as possible. And alarm clocks just make me feel stressed, rushed. They don't make me feel good. So do what makes you feel your best. But again, sleep as much as possible. This is really, really important because sleep helps the cells sort of renew, regenerate, rebuild, repair, and then you wake up feeling fresh and ready to go, okay? Number three, switch to a high raw diet. So consume at least 90% raw of raw foods. Now, the raw foods have living enzymes. This will facilitate beautiful intracellular hydration. And intracellular hydration is like consuming hyaluronic acid, okay? But internally, give this video a thumbs up as well if you're watching right now. I love your thumbs. I appreciate that. So <clears throat> the reason why, thank you, the reason why raw food is so valuable is because there's an abundance a beautiful distilled water created by nature. And nature loves you. Nature wants you to thrive. Nature wants you to look and feel youthful and vibrant and energized and in love with life. And so the best way to do that is to start consuming food with enzymes, okay? So the pancreas only has a certain amount of enzymes. It's kind of like a bank, okay? Imagine a bank and then you keep withdrawing from it. 
But what happens is eventually there will be a zero in the bank account and then there's debt and then there's paying interest and then there's all sorts of issues. So in that same way, when, when someone continues to consume food without living enzymes, cooked food, okay, the pancreas basically becomes depleted. And then what happens is that there's an acceleration of graying hair, there's cellulite, there's lots of wrinkles, uh, there's a depletion of energy that you feel in the morning, and there's all sorts of issues that can occur. So the way to sort of combat that is consume high enzymatic rich foods. So what I love doing is green juices. So I made a green juice today, and so um, I'll have that tomorrow, but that's kind of my little way of consuming more enzymatic rich foods. And I have recipes on my channel for green smoothies, green juices. And so that is very, very powerful. There's lots of raw recipes as well that I can share with you if that interests you. I love fettuccine Alfredo. So I created a raw vegan fettuccine Alfredo recipe. It's so good, like so good. Okay, it tastes so good, especially if you love carbs and pasta and the noodles are made with zucchini and it's just incredible. So there are many foods that we can make that will help you along your anti-aging journey, along your wrinkle reversal journey, and that you won't need to sacrifice the taste. And you can eat as much as you want because it's high in water, so low in calories, and it makes you feel good, look good. And just want to live your best life, be your best self. Okay, so number four, facial exfoliation daily. I love facial dry brushing. So this is a facial dry brush I use every single day. And I got this on a website called beautifulonraw.com. So this is what I use on my face every single day. And always once a day, sometimes twice a day. And if I forget to do this one day, I notice like just this dryness and it, my skin just doesn't look as radiant. So facial dry brushing. Now I know dermatologists on YouTube and um, plastic surgeons and all this, like these people have their own perspectives as to what is the best anti-aging form of exfoliation, chemical exfoliation or physical exfoliation, or should we do derma rolling or derma abrasion or microneedling? I mean, there's so many things, right? And I've done a lot of research on, um, on <clears throat> like exfoliation. I mean, this is like my passion. This is what I do. This is more than a passion. It's like my uh, grand obsession is natural skincare and anti-aging since I was 16. So I have read so many books about it and I listen to people who have the results that I want. And the woman who created the website Beautiful and Raw, she's in her late 60s. And she looks incredible. And so I um, have learned a lot from her. She's for sure like a huge mentor of mine. And so I'm super grateful for her work. And so anyway, she is a huge proponent of this. And I've been doing it for many years. And there's no complaints. Also, I find it to be more effective than a chemical peel, for, for example, I find that with the chemical peels, the results don't last as long. Um, and I feel like it's not a good ROI, return on investment, okay? So I like a good return and I want noticeable results and I want to be empowered as to how I can do it myself. I don't wanna to have to go somewhere to do it, especially right now with what's going on in the world, like super weird time. Um, like I want to empower you guys with how you can have your best skin ever from home because like we can't really go out, right? I mean, of course we can, but like it's not like normal, you know, it's a bit odd. So yeah, okay. So number five, topical pure hyaluronic acid daily. So this is the brand that I love. It's called Viva Pure. And it's a hyaluronic acid serum, and it is a pure hyaluronic acid serum. So there's not any weird fillers or just anything bizarre 
in the serum. It's super important to find a serum that you love and that you, where it just feels good to you to wear it. And also make sure that you know what's in it. Super, super important. Okay. Now I do see that you you have some comments and I will address them once I get to number six, just for the people that want to get these tips and then leave the video. Okay. So number six, use my paper tape method under your eyes and my DIY Botox method. My DIY Botox method is in my course, Face Yoga Master Accelerator, which the link for that is in the description box. You'll see Face Yoga Master Accelerator. Um, and my DIY Botox method is epic. Okay, you guys, I've been using that method for years, and that is how I've fortunately avoided Botox because I love a super fresh face and I am not all about having needles injected into my skin. Like, no. So I will do just about anything to avoid that. My clients have told me they're horrific, horrific stories about Botox and how their um, cosmetic uh, dermatologist would inject like their under eyes to prevent like the lines, but then she woke up and her eye, her lower eyelids just were like this, like they were drooping. She couldn't move her lower eyelids for months and she couldn't take her sons to school. Like that's horrific. So, um, these stories happen all the time, but we don't hear about it. Um, so it's just important to be mindful of that. So this is what I use for my paper tape method. Um, under your eyes. And so this is perfect for really smoothing out the eye wrinkles and making sure that you wake up with a beautiful face and there's no under eye wrinkles. Like, you know, when you sleep on your side and then it pushes the face together and then there's the under eye wrinkles. So really love the paper tape method. This is fantastic. And I have a video on YouTube about the paper tape method as well. So with this, it involves almond oil and this first aid paper tape, which you can get from any store, any drug store in the first aid section, okay? So those are the six keys to reversing wrinkles naturally at home. So now I'm going to look at your comments. Oh, yay. Hi. Yay. So Lisa says, I'm on raw food almost exclusively. Yeah, I love that. Mm -hmm. Lisa, by the way, I love how you tag me over on Instagram, like all the time. It's very fun. Um, someone says, how old are you? I'm 29 and a half. I have to add the a half thing just because it's kind of fun. I don't know. Honestly, age, it really is. It really is just a number. It doesn't. It's like what really matters is my biological age, like how I am on the inside. Not how many times, not how many years I've been on the planet, which a year is a construct, a creation by humans, which are <clears throat> deeply self-interested and are a little like, hmm. I'm not even going to go there, but yeah, it matters more how you feel. And what's supposed to happen is that we're supposed to become more beautiful as we get older and more energized and feeling happy and excited about life. And especially right now with what's going on in the world, I really feel like it's important to sort of reevaluate what really matters to you. So it, it appears to me like a lot of people are having a little bit of a dark night of the soul kind of a situation. And it's really interesting because I've already had like 10 of them mm -hmm. starting in 2016 when I decided to start my YouTube channel and do all these things, get out of my comfort zone and like be an entrepreneur online and like, can I do this? Can I have my own business? Like, what am I doing? I don't even know what I'm doing. Um, and, you know, four years later, I'm thrilled that I did that. I'm so thrilled that I sort of trusted myself. So this is a really interesting time to be alive. And I think it's time to really double down on yourself. 
Bet on yourself. How about that? Mm -hmm. Bet on you. So Lisa says, I juiced carrots and celery today. I'm into marinated raw mushrooms right now. Mmm, yummy. So the marinated raw mushrooms would be so good in the fettuccine alfredo recipe. Yes. So Bianca says, I will look for your fettuccine alfredo zucchini recipe. Okay. I have not posted a video on that. So if you want me to create a video on that, I would love to show you because it's super fun. And I'm going to Whole Foods tomorrow so I can get all of the yummy groceries and then film it. Because yeah, I love pasta and I love um, like comfort food. And what I love more is not gaining weight or feeling bad after eating it. <laughs> so um, I will grab my phone and take a note to get some fettuccine alfredo ingredients. Yay. I am super excited about that. Okay. She knew. One second. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, I love fettuccine alfredo. <laughs> Yum. But raw vegan, of course. Yeah. So. Mmm. Um, Chelsea, does the under eye exercise raise the outer corner of the eye? I'm doing the lift ups and it burns so much on the outside. Is that right? Yes, that's right. So the under eye exercise. So which under eye exercise are you doing? Because there's lots of different ones. Like if it's like this one, like the cheek plumper basically. It looks really unattractive, I know, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, so if you're doing that one, then yes, it is supposed to burn quite badly. <laughs> By the way, I love right now that I'm on camera with zero makeup. Like, that makes me feel really good. And I'm really happy about it. Like, I just want to help women feel super confident even when they're not wearing makeup. Like makeup is so much fun. And I love wearing it. I also love myself just as much as when I'm not though. That's the thing. And so that's something that I just really want to imbue you with is just this message of like unconditional self-love. And it's just really, really, special because no one's going to come for you. No one's going to save you. Like you have to save yourself. And this is something that I have uh, realized sort of off and on throughout my life. And, um, and it's kind of a difficult realization. You know, society teaches people that they need to do certain things in order to be happy or to feel good enough. Like you have to make a certain amount of money or you need to be married. You need to have kids by a certain amount of time or you need to wear makeup all the time. You have to wear fake eyelashes all the time. You need to have fantastic wardrobe all the time. Like I just think it's this stupid game that marketers and advertisers and very intelligent people are playing on our egos because they know how to like sort of feed the ego and I I love making money and I love dressing well and I love thriving and I love um, sort of having my best life it's just understanding the fact that that is not what creates happiness it's just not Actually, what creates happiness is achieving your goals and being a, like who you, who you currently are and who you want to be and then bridging that gap. So that is the happiness. The journey is the happiness, who you are and then who you want to be.
So who do you want to be? And then bridge that, okay? And that's how making these videos makes me so darn happy because it's helping me become who I want to be. And like, there's no better feeling. So it's like better than any chocolate, any ice cream, any physical thing, anything. It's just, it's, it's better than anything. Bridging that gap. That's what it's all about for me. Mm -hmm. Yep. So. Aw, I'm a guy, but really appreciate your content. Glad I found it. Thank you. Yes, well, I, you know, men can watch my channel too. Um, <laughs> that's great. So, Franca says, I have learned a lot from you. Thank you so much for all that you do. Aw, thank you. So, she also asked, please, Chelsea, one of my eyes is sunken. What do I do? Okay, so several several questions for you. Um, how long has it been that way? Is this genetic? Is this a bone issue? Is it a muscular issue? There are many things. There are many sort of, because if one eye is sunken and then the other's not, well, that's, I mean, most people have asymmetry. All, all humans have asymmetry, okay? It's just like, to what degree? So for a sunken eye, I would really need to see a photo and I would want you to answer some questions. I would need to know all types of things about you. So, mm. Marcia, hello. By the way, I'm so glad you guys are on here on a Friday night, which hello, where else are we gonna be other than online? Okay, especially right now, but seriously, it's great. Okay, just checking that my microphone is still on. So, hello beautiful, something for sunken eyes, please, thank you. Yes, yeah, so for sunken eyes, so what can help with that? Like, like I said, I need to know more about you, I need to see what you look like, because it's not just a one size fits all sort of thing. It has to do with, with the particular bone. Um, it, it could have to do with your lymphatic system. I personally like the appearance of slightly sunken eyes. I feel like it looks very sleek and sexy. And so, so I think, you know, beauty is in the eye of the holder. I also think it's important to, like, if you find yourself becoming too obsessed with your appearance, start help, like, help someone. Get outside of yourself and get into someone else's world and help someone less fortunate. It's so important. Like appearance is not everything. And that's partially why I haven't done many Facebook videos lately because I just feel so tired of always looking at myself. I'm just so over it. I so much prefer helping you guys with your skin and with your um, concerns because it's just like, it makes me feel kind of shallow, quite frankly. And there's so much more to life. Now, my message is something much more meaningful, which is helping women feel empowered and confident in their skin and helping them feel beautiful and sexy in who they are so that they can have their best life and go after what they really want in life. And that's what I'm all about here. Face yoga is one simple little thing. Okay, but there's many other parts which I'm excited to be sharing with you eventually because, because it's so much more than just appearance. A lot of it is what do you eat? If someone just ate a fully raw, if someone just ate fully raw, like and never practiced face yoga, their skin would look incredibly um, beautiful and supple and smooth because of all the distilled water, because they're eating high enzymatic rich foods. And so that's why. Some people don't see face yoga results because they don't change anything else about their life. They continue drinking alcohol. They continue smoking cigarettes. They continue being married to this like 
emotionally abusive husband that cheats on them. And it's like, like that doesn't do anything for one's well-being whatsoever. You've got to cut the negativity out and put yourself first. Be selfish. Like, be selfish, please. I'm begging you to be selfish because once I began to be selfish, my life transformed in the most magical way possible. And so that's just that's just what I really feel. And so I just want to encourage that. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is a combination of things, and you're so welcome. <laughs> Lisa says, I agree with your philosophy. It's better to do it from the inside out than to buy expensive $200 skin creams. Mm -hmm. Now, I've done that. I remember I was at Vegas with my boyfriend a couple of years ago, this person. Um, <clears throat> and... So I bought this skin cream, this like face cream. It was like four hundred dollars or something, and um, he he did not know about it. I don't think. <laughs> um, I think he eventually found out by looking at the bill or something. But um, anyway, so yeah, and then this cream didn't even work, and in addition, it gave me an eye rash, and so. It, that's so that just so upsetting. I mean, your physical body is worth ten trillion dollars. Okay, you are the most expensive thing on the planet. Our our bodies are so incredibly intelligent and resilient. They are self renewal and rejuvenation machines. Do you understand that? Like our bodies are brilliant. You are expensive, and it's time. You start treating yourself like an expensive luxury item. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's for sure. So someone says, any recommendations about breathing exercises for improving oxygenation of the body and skin? Okay, so I have a video on how to slim your nose. And in that video, I basically share this really strange looking breathing exercise that I did out on my balcony. And so that video actually did really well, um, like views wise, which you know, whatever, it's just views doesn't really matter, but it's just interesting to me because it's, re it reveals to me how humans think and like what they want to see and that they love before and after. So, so that's, that's like a fun little experiment. Um, but yeah, so that, video is definitely very helpful with the nose thing. But what I love doing is breathing from my abdomen, like from down here, like my belly. And then just sort of, you know, like just breathing. <laughs> like, but breathe consciously. So breathe consciously and like deeply rather than shallowly. And that's super beneficial. So Franca says, am I pronouncing that correctly? Can you let me know? I really like pronouncing people's names correctly. I feel like it's respectful. Like it bothers me when people call me Chelsea or Chelsea. That, yeah, that's really good. Mm -hmm. I'm going to slap them in the face, like mentally. Like, no, don't call me that, please. So... I was born with the sunken eyes and was not obvious at all. But as I get older, the more obvious it becomes. Yeah. So it sounds to me like that's a bone slash genetic concern. So what do you, what do you eat? Because what can help with sunken eyes actually is increasing foods, which can basically stop thinning the blood uh, because typically, uh, but that's not really beneficial. Like that's not healthy. Honestly, I, sunken eyes, I think are healthy and like, so, like you have sunken eyes and what? So, I have freckles on my face. So like, I'm not gonna, um, someone just asked me like this question. I don't even know who they are. 
That's weird. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, so, yeah, I think just love who you are. Like, at least you have eyes. Some people don't have eyes. Some people don't have an ear. Like, <laughs> some people don't have legs. Be grateful for what you have. You're not any less of a person just because you have sunken eyes. I love the appearance of sunken eyes. Personally, I think it looks gorgeous. Like Angelina Jolie has sunken eyes and she, and when she does like a cat eye, like a liner, it looks so good. Her eyes look so incredibly captivating. And so I think it looks really attractive. I think you should try to just rock the sunken eye look. Um, I think it would be beneficial to try a cat eye with that, with some like liquid liner. I think that's a really, really good idea. That's what I would do if I were you. I would start focusing on what I'm grateful for and being aware of what I can change versus what I can't change and accepting the difference. And um, it's like the serenity prayer. You know, God gave, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. So we can't change certain things that just can't be changed unless you get surgery or something. And then what? And then you'll be happy? No, because you'll find something else that you don't like. Because that's how the brain works. That's how the ego works. So... In my opinion, it's advantageous to focus on what you can control and capitalize on the features of, of yourself that you do love, that you feel confident about, okay? So someone says, thoughts on gua sha stone scraping tools and rollers for meridians on the face. I think that's beneficial. Uh, I think truthfully, do whatever like makes you feel good. I love the dry brushing. I just like results. I don't like to mess around with all these weird gua sha, like the little rollers. I mean, I've done the jade rollers and all these things, and I've gotten many different types of spa facials and all of their little tools. And um, <clears throat> truthfully, nothing has worked better than the dry brush. Nothing. Mm -mm, nothing. I've tried the retinols and the... Um, you know, the chemical peels, all these things. The best results I've ever sort of seen is with a with the dry brush. Not wet. I don't wet it. Okay, it's dry. It's a very, very important, critical part of achieving these magical results that it must be a dry brush. Now, I really need to go on a walk. Okay, so I need to go. And here's the thing is I really want to start doing daily YouTube videos, okay? And so I would love it if you could share with me uh, topics, video topics that you want to see. I have a large list in my notebook of video topics. And so I want to help you achieve your goals. And I want to know what your goals are so I can help you achieve them. So will you please tell me what your goals are? Whether it's, well, it needs to be pertaining to the natural beauty realm, raw vegan sort of realm, the fettuccine Alfredo raw vegan recipe will be coming. And so, and I do have a general idea of who my audience is. Like I, I know what you guys wanna see, I'll definitely face the other videos, things like that, but I do, want to know more I want to like get in your mind so that I can give you the information that you want to see and so I don't know unless if I don't know if I don't ask right so um yeah so Frank says oh Chelsea you have made me feel good thank you so much you're so welcome I want to make you feel so good that you're flying off of your chair that's what I would love yay <laughs> Uh, Lisa says, raw food or raw recipes would be great. Okay. I'll try natu also natural moisturizer recommendations. I am big on meditation right now as well. Yay. Okay, perfect. So Lisa, I actually have a video 
on my channel called um, my homemade under eye cream. That cream is like a natural moisturizer, um, but it also is, um, it can be like for the whole face, not just the under eyes. By the way, so I was at Whole Foods last, yeah, last week, and I got this natural moisturizer. It's in my bathroom. It's the same brand as uh, this Viva Pure right here. So it's in the back. <clears throat> Sorry, you guys, I can't see that. There we go. So Viva Pure Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Oh my God, my nail. That's really bad. Um, so yeah. So the natural moisturizer has basically like magical ingredients. What I can do before I get off of this live is I'll send you the link to, or I'll post the link to the Viva Pure moisturizer right now. I'll find it online and I'll send you the link to the one that I have rather than going into my bathroom. Um, moisturizer. And it's in Canada, however you could get it from like online. So, oh, I think, you know what? It's called a maize cream. That's what it's called. Ha, yeah, isn't that a fun name? A maize cream, I just love it. So, oh, here's the amazon.ca link to it. And yeah, so it's called Viva Amaze Cream. Love that. So there's the link to the Viva Amaze Cream. Grace says, I love nature. <laughs> oh my God, me too. Like, love it. Like, I'm obsessed with nature. It's, it's intense. We have a love affair, nature and I. So, okay, so that's all you guys. Um, it was so much fun chatting with you and I am excited to be posting regular content. Of course, I would rather show you uh, than of course tell you, you know, so I look forward to seeing you in many more videos to come. And I also just want to sort of say that I'm kind of sorry for not posting videos for a few weeks. I just, like this whole thing, what's happening right now in the world, it's just really weird for me. And I'm just having a lot of realizations. It's like, uh, I'm just learning a lot about myself. Like I live alone, but I live while well, my hamster. Her name is Muffin. Um, yeah. She's sleeping right now. She's very cute. So, um, yeah. And so this year has been insane for me on many levels. Like, I've had so many things happen in my life, which I never thought I would ever deal with. Like, tr like traumatic things, like deeply traumatic things. It has nothing to do with, the, with COVID. Like, nothing to do with it. And then COVID on top is just like, Fabulous. Thank you so much, universe. I love you. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's just, it's, it's interesting. And so it just is important to remember things do not last forever and that this won't last for forever. And I feel like this will be greatly resolved in the middle of 2021. Just from the research I looked at, I I kind of get down this conspiracy rabbit hole, and then truthfully, it makes me feel super disempowered and like paranoid. And so, how I sort of get myself back to feeling good again is by think is by talking to you guys over on our Facebook group, which has like sixteen thousand members, and just connecting with my clients doing private sessions, like the face yoga sessions. And, um, you know, it's, it's just like, it's a lot. This is a lot to handle in the world. And I truly feel like I asked to be here during this period of time 
And so, this is like a serious spiritual revolution, um, evolution, expansion, growth, like a lot is going on right now. So I'm just excited that we're all alive. Like we're still, we're here. So congratulations, we made it to the end of 2020. Not all the way to the end, we still have next month, <clears throat> but kind of to the end. Now, by the way, I was watching a few videos and like all the videos said that something was gonna happen on, on, tw on the 21st of December. So like, I don't know what's gonna, you know, who knows, but yeah, I just, I don't know, like this is weird. I was watching a video where it said like internet could shut off for three days. Oh, what, who was that? It was the, the guy, I got, oh, David Wilcock. Yeah, like deep into some serious rabbit holes. And the thing is, is that YouTube um, censors what like people can say. So that's really weird. And so I created the Youthful Skin Inner Circle community because I felt like that would be more uncensored. Um, but that's on Facebook. So that's inevitably censored as well. So it's like, I just think that there's a lot of information that is important that people know about just in so far as like the consciousness on the planet and what, like to not get sucked into the fear and like the, the 3d consciousness because it's really really problematic um just for so many reasons and so truthfully what's getting me through this time is staying focused on my goal and just imagining like years from now living in Hawaii and I'm with an amazing man and I am having retreats with all of you in Hawaii and because I'm actually a dual citizen. So I'm excited to move from Canada to Hawaii. And then, um, yeah, that's, that's the only thing that's getting me through this time is this sort of long-term vision that I have for my future, well, sh sort of long-term, like medium term. So like 35, you know, by the time I'm 35, like I'm 29. So, okay. So six years or something. I mean, like, I don't know, things change and who knows, I could live in Fiji or whatever, but I just think it's so important for you to have a vision, for you to have this sort of dream for yourself. Cause during difficult times in life, like, that is what helps me maintain a positive attitude, like a positive mindset. And so that is what really does it for me, is having a vision, maintaining my goal, understanding no one's coming here to save me. No one is, <laughs> no one's coming to save you. Like save yourself. No one's going to help you. Like you have to help yourself. So um, that is really what is helping me so much during this really bizarre time where like I can't even depend on people that I grew up with like because they can't even handle you know it's like it's weird <laughs> it's, like, it's weird um but it's okay I think it's meant to happen like this and the people that have stayed in my life it's because we have the same consciousness level and they're more in like a 5d consciousness rather than 3d and so i really love that so lisa thank you for mentioning the um uh, dr joe dispenza i love all of his content and um yeah that lisa says dr joe dispenza and his work on the mind and 5d reality has helped me through this time mm -hmm. i'm so glad truly i'm so grateful that people like him are here because they're helping a lot. He's helping a lot of humans, including myself and you. And um, so I recently bought a, well, I love audiobooks. And so I recently got an audiobook called Awakening in the Dream. It's by David Wilcock. And in the book, he talks a lot about um, dream interpretation. And so that's pretty fun. And it was published this year as well. Also, another great book that I would recommend was written by 
it was like written by T Tony Robbins and then someone else as well, but it's called The Path. And so it was published in 2020 it's, and it talks about what's happening right now, like pandemic wise and how to sort of invest your money and like what they're doing. And um, it talks a lot about historical examples of when things like this have happened before and how during every on average 10 years, people say, oh, this time is different, you know, and then it's like all dramatic and then it causes so much fear in people. But really, there's nothing to be afraid of because this is simply what happened on average every 10 years. And this time it's this pandemic situation that we're experiencing. So, you know, I mean, it's, this is a transition. This is when people are going to go online. This is the technological revolution happening right now, right now. Mm -hmm. So this is the time to get online. And so also like, if you want to become a face yoga teacher, like let me know, cause I can help you. If you want, start your own online business and um, like to make money online, teaching like natural health and beauty and face yoga and stuff like that. Like I love helping people make money. It's just so much fun for me. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So one more topic suggestion, gut health and skin tips for improving gut health with raw fermented foods. Mm -hmm. You deserve that beautiful vision to manifest. We all do. Blessings. Thank you so much. That's so sweet. Mm. Yeah. Gut health and skin. Tips on improving gut health. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I love fermented foods and um, mm, love a good pickle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pickles are amazing. Truthfully, with gut health, what has helped me so much are green smoothies. Yeah, because the plant fiber really does clear up all of the sort of little unbeneficial microbes and stuff like that. And so the greens are high in chlorophyll, which really cleanses the blood. So green smoothies are everything. Like if I'm wanting to really clean up my Got, or if I had too much champagne or, you know, if I just sort of misbehaved or something like the day before, then the following day, I will definitely do a green smoothie, uh, like full day or just have one green smoothie and that's all I eat for the rest of the day. So love doing that. Angelina says, can you do more videos on the under eye lines and just how to tone the under eyes? Yeah, for sure. The thing is, is I've already done lots of videos on the under eyes though. Um, so that's kind of my challenge is that I notice a lot of your questions are, it's like, I already have lots of videos on that. So I want to help you. So, um, how about this? I'll take a screenshot of that, of your comment, and then we'll sort of take it from there. Okay, one second. Like if you could be more specific about what you're dealing with with the under eyes, that would be good. Cause then I could, okay, there's a screenshot. Cause then I could, sh I could um, create like more videos based on your particular thing. Cause for toning the under eyes, what helps a lot is the cheek pumper exercise, which I have like three videos or something on how to do the cheek plumper exercise. That's what I do to tone my under eyes and also my paper tape method for under eyes. So that's how I've avoided under eye wrinkles is using my uh, paper tape. God, I like shed all the time because of my hair. It's so annoying. Um, yeah, it's the paper tape method under the eyes. So, Um, yeah, but generally, like, I know what you guys want to see. So I'm excited to keep pressing along. And um, <clears throat> I'm going to go take a walk now. So I'll see you again really soon. And have an amazing evening. Bye.